everyone i am assistant professor urmi shah from itict department of lg university so today we will be discussing regarding chapter number 6 that is signaling techniques in telecommunication engineering subject basically this is session number 32 of our telecommunication engineering subject and we are going to move ahead with the last unit of our course pe telecommunication engineering so let's move ahead with the final unit of this subject basically in this section we are going to move ahead with following topics so let's move ahead with the following topics here in this section we are going to cover that is signaling techniques types of signaling techniques classes of signaling so this topics we are going to cover in this section basically what is signaling why there is a need of signaling techniques then what are the different types of signaling techniques and what are the different classes of signaling that we will be learning in this section so let's move ahead with the first technique that is signaling technique the first topic signaling technique deals with the different integral part of switching system which includes different signals that are to be passed on from one section to another section for the transmission of information basically signaling is an integral part of switching system and transmission system the design of signaling system directly relates the requirement of both switching and transmission to transmit data from one network to another network the switch must determine how much data is to be routed towards the destination from the source and whether the transmitted signal will be acknowledged back or not so this is all part of signaling tech moving ahead there are three forms of signaling involved in telecommunication network subscriber loop signaling intra exchange or register signaling inter exchange or inter register signaling so these are the various types of signaling techniques now we all know that if i want to transfer a signal from one place to another place the most important thing is to have the signal information from source to destination then the next most important thing is whether the signal is going to give an acknowledgement back from receiver to sender that the signal has been reached towards the destination that is an another thing regarding signaling technique so for all these three points there are different signaling schemes or techniques which can have proper information transfer between telecommunication networks so in this category we have subscriber loop signaling intra exchange or register signaling inter exchange or inter register signaling so let's move ahead with these types of signaling techniques and let's get into the depth of all these techniques so the first technique is subscriber loop signaling in telephone networks subscriber loop signaling development upon type of instrument used such as rotary dial telephone and multi frequency telephone for rotary dial telephone loop signaling uses number of pulses that are generated by alternately breaking and making the loop circuit between subscriber and exchange so this is a part of subscriber loop signal moving ahead dual tone multi frequency that is ttmf telephone uses pair of audio tones to produce numbers of dial ttmf telephone offers advanced services such as data invoice So all these are the various services which are provided whenever a telecommunication network is using subscriber loop signaling technique. 
moving further the next type of signaling is intra exchange signaling now what is exactly present in intra exchange signaling intra exchange signaling is used within the switching network this signaling is dependent in type and design of switching system the signaling varies from one model to another within the same manufacturer also so this are the different points that are to be taken care whenever we are using intra exchange signaling scheme further the next type of signaling scheme is inter exchange signaling scheme basically in this type of signaling scheme there is an internal transfer or internal exchange of information which we call it in form of inter exchange signaling signaling between exchanges with common control subsystem is called inter exchange signaling it is also referred as inter register signaling basically register term over here signifies the term which we already used in microprocessor and microcontroller subject register here stores the information or saves the information in some memory unit that's why it is also called inter register signaling the main purpose of inter register signaling is the exchange of address digits which pass from exchange to exchange on link by link basis so that is the role of inter exchange signaling scheme the very basic purpose is internally there can be transfer of information why in intra exchange we saw that the signaling is a dependent type and it can have transmission between one switching model and another switching model while the reverse was subscriber loop signaling in subscriber loop signaling there is a rotatory telephone form where there can be transfer of signal based on the subscriber loop concept so these are the three different types of signaling scheme now moving further towards the signaling classes what are the different classes that are used for signaling techniques and for signaling purposes so basically there are two major classes of signaling techniques in channel signaling and common channel signaling these are the two major different types of classes of signaling techniques so the classification of signaling technique is displayed over here as you can see that two classes of signaling techniques and their sub classes are shown over here by a tree diagram so basically a main signaling scheme is divided in two types that is in channel and common channel signaling scheme in in channel signaling there are four types that is dc signaling low frequency signaling voice frequency signaling pcm signaling in voice frequency again there is a bifurcation in two types that is in band signaling and out band signaling so these are the classification for in channel signaling type further the next classification on the right hand side you can see over here is for common channel signaling in common channel signaling signaling there is two division that is associated and non associated signaling so we are going to learn this in channel and common channel signaling in detail in the moving upcoming next session further we will be discussing about each one of them what are the role of these classes or this uh, schemes in signaling techniques that we will be seeing in the next upcoming session moving ahead these are the reference books for the topics that we have covered you can refer any of these books for the topics that we have covered in this session so basically in this session we have covered what is signaling 
what are the signaling techniques that is subscriber loop inter register intra register signaling then we have understand what are the applicabilities of this signaling techniques and moving further we have seen the classification or the classes of these signaling techniques so in the next upcoming session we will be learning each one of them in depth and we will be discussing regarding in channel common channel and its further classification signaling schemes so thank you very much for watching this session in the upcoming session we will be moving ahead with the further topics of telecommunication engineering thank you for watching this video thank you